Hey guys, today's a wild video, but I first want to thank you because I've grown like 30 subscribers in the past three days. So that's super exciting. My channel has never had growth like that. Uh, I haven't been as consistent in the past as I have been now. I'm trying to stay very consistent with it and I've been getting more and more into it now. So we're going to talk about Chris Weidman's crazy double gah, eye gouge win over Bruno Silva. And Bruno Silva needs to learn this move. But for now, all I need you to do is subscribe. Let's get into the video. Wow, did Bruno Silva get a tough break. He literally got poked in the eye four times. And on the last one, it was a double eye poke in each eye. Chris Weidman is the very first MMA fighter to ever win via eye gouge. If they ever do a rematch because of this, I think Bruno Silva needs to, he needs to learn this move. You know, can't poke someone's eye You go like this. It's an old 70s, 60s, 70s karate movie. Go to eye gouge somebody, hold this up. Bah, they can't get you. But that was rough to see. And then it was just bizarre. So let's take a look at every single eye poke because this was crazy. And the fact that they had the replays and they saw all that, it should have been made a no contest that was definitely not justice you can't just eye poke somebody four times they deduct points for eye poking someone twice in weidman hit him with the combo eye poke bah, bah. in these videos actually let's just go ahead and look at him because i'm not saying he did it on purpose but it may have been a happy accident let's take a look okay here's the first one you can clearly see and he's poke he pokes him in the eye with his thumb and Silva goes down like he just drops to his knees as soon as it happens and actually he does it over and over and over and this is in Chris Weidman's octagon speech he says you can't just drop to your knees when your eye poked Okay, so he's telling Bruno Silva to take responsibility for dropping to his knees every time he gets eye poked. But what about claiming responsibility for all the eye pokes? He knows he poked him in the eye four times. Now, I like Chris Weidman, and going into this fight, I will tell you right now, I was super impressed and high on Chris Weidman on the fact that he broke his leg in half. We saw it. It was disturbing and gross. Just yikes right? How do you recover from that? Well, he did and he comes back and then he fights a competitive fight in his first fight back in. And now he's fighting Bruno Silva and arguably winning. He was winning. But these eye pokes are casting a dark shadow over this fight and what should otherwise be a, a happy celebration for Chris Weidman. I have a few thoughts on this. A, I was watching the whole thing like, eh, eh, don't anything happen. Eh, I hope the leg the leg's okay and i feel like everybody was kind of on edge like that and even chris weidman said in his first fight back he was like his brain was like go ahead and throw the kick his body wouldn't let him do it so basically he was getting in his own head where he was like kind of apprehensive to throw that right leg kick for obvious reasons and he went ahead and did it in this fight now i do feel like bruno silva was being very courteous toward that leg I, he threw zero leg kicks th th to that leg now there are sometimes they write in the contract you know avoid this and this and this it doesn't happen very often and it probably didn't happen but it's possible that there was a no right leg kick clause in the contract that's just speculation i have seen it before but not with the ufc I've seen it before with smaller promotions. But Bruno Silva was being very respectful toward the leg and did not throw any leg kicks that I saw to the right leg. 
I think Chris Weidman's going to have a rough next fight. I think Bruno Silva was being respectful and just thought, I can, I can beat him on the feet. I can take him down. I'll just avoid that leg. And, you know, Chris Weidman, he's still getting back into it. He said he's still trying to get his feet underneath him, and now he feels like he has. But these eye pokes, man, they're no bueno. So check this out. He drops after that eye poke, and then he gets hit with another one. Drops again, and then another one. So check this out, right here. Boom, and a scrape. So it's like a stick and a scrape. But if you notice, only his middle finger was out. So he did a, a, a poke and then a scrape. Let's watch that again. Poke, a deep poke, scrape, poke, scrape. And then it bounces off his shoulder and barely touches the back of his head. So, yes, they did change it from a TKO to a unanimous decision at the end, which is weird because I've never seen that before. I was going into it like, oh, I'm going to make a video about how inspirational Chris Weidman is. Not very many fighters come back from what he went through. Uh, Anderson Silva did. Conor McGregor may. And then there was another guy called Corey Hill, I believe. And I think his was the nastiest break. Look it up. It's a fight in 2008 with Corey Hill. Just look up 2008 Corey Hill UFC leg break. It's nasty. Nasty. Actually, maybe I'll make another video on all the leg breaks. But my point is, is Chris Weidman was able to return and still be competitive. And so that's super inspirational. There's fighters that have less injuries than that, that it ruins their career. And he didn't let it. He pushed forward and continued where he left off, or at least is trying to. But this eye poke thing, man, this is really casting a dark, ugly shadow over this fight. That's all anybody's going to want to talk about. I knew after that fight, I was going to say that the card that you see when you're scrolling through videos on YouTube is probably going to say something like first MMA fight won by eye poke or something like that. I took yesterday off because I had a bunch of things to do. I woke up this morning at like three o'clock in the morning and I already saw two videos talking about the eye poke and showing a, pi a picture of Chris Weidman. Now I haven't watched him yet because I want to do my video first. And I didn't want to be influenced by anybody else's video or the information that they give or the thoughts or opinions they have. But it's already out there and I just knew it was going to overshadow his victory. And you know what? It just adds to his crazy storyline though. And it just makes it more interesting. So his next fight, we're going to be like, okay, what's going to happen now? Let's see if he can win via eye poke again. And I don't think that they're going to put that on his record. It's going to say unanimous decision. And then people that are invested in the future and other fights may or may not forget that his fight with Bruno Silva was full of eye pokes and, Bru and not one point that was deducted. He was not held accountable for any of those eye pokes. One of the eye pokes, yeah, he did. He poked Chris Weidman back in the eye. At the same time, they both poked each other in the eye at the same time. Silva's was with his thumb, which when you're wearing those gloves, like that's easy to do. And it was, it was a punch, but the thumb part went in Chris Weidman's eye. And Chris didn't even really flinch about it. He didn't really contest it or anything. But it was still an eye poke. So the referee was like, okay, you guys poked each other. And then the last two double eye poke, that should have been a disqualification if Bruno couldn't continue to fight, or it should have been a point deduction. And I'd be curious to know what the points were, the point cards were with a point deduction. Would it have evened it up more? Would it have been a no contest? I don't know. Maybe if some of you have looked that up, you can tell me in the comments. But this fight was, it was wild. Like, I was on edge the entire time. I just didn't want to see anything happen to that leg again. And luckily, Bruno is being very respectful to that leg. I just feel bad for Bruno. 
he he got he didn't get a fair shake. Chris Weidman was right though. He shouldn't have been dropping to his knees every time he gets hit in the or poked in the eye because the referee doesn't know why he's going down like that. And it looked like it was from a punch in real time until we slowed it down. So I don't know. It was a weird call. It was a weird fight. And it is what it is. Anyway, I think this is good for this video. I'm going to ask you like I always do. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments what you think about this whole situation. I'd like to know. And like the video and share it with your friends if you know anybody that would like it. Still trying to grow the channel. Got probably 30 new subscribers in the past four days with my last five videos. So thank you so much for supporting the channel. It means a lot. I'm still a little sick, but I, you can probably hear it in my voice, and I'm still going to keep making these videos, and I will see you guys in the next one. Chill. Thank you for kicking in with MMA Flex and Chill. Chill. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Ring the bell, ring the bell.